is up you guys this is hj halloween and today i am back with my first unboxing video of the 2021 season and boy am i excited to be back in front of the camera for you guys and doing a prop unboxing now obviously it's a little bit different as you guys can probably tell from the title that it's not a spirit halloween prop and i'm sure almost all of you know that spirit halloween has had some super sad delays this year unfortunate delays this year with their shipping and so the stores themselves aren't even opening as far as i know now by the time you guys are seeing this maybe they'll start have started opening but i'm filming this around august 5th august 6th i'm not exactly sure what day it is and stores have no signs of opening at least in my area as of this point it's got me in a lot of stress because you guys know i'm a college student i will be back in college this year and um i'm leaving pretty soon and i have yet to film any spirit halloween prop videos so some of those might be filmed in my apartment this year nonetheless as you guys know uh if you follow me on instagram which link is down in the description i have decided to fill in some of this time waiting for spirit halloween to get opened to go ahead and order some home depot props for you guys because i definitely just want to get a prop on the channel i'm just super excited to have a prop to unbox and i'm sure a lot of you guys know that home depot has really been stepping their game up and i'm actually super excited to be kind of diving into home depot because they certainly have quite the uh, good lineup. Also, if you wanna see a review of this jester from Home Depot, then be sure to check out Patreon. Link will be down in the description for the review. Sorry for all of the, the long intro. We're gonna get to unboxing it here, but I did wanna give that disclaimer specifically about um, the Spirit Halloween props, because I know a lot of you guys might be seeing that I'm doing Home Depot for the first time if you're not following me on Instagram. Again, link to Instagram down in the description. And you might be like, oh my God, HTJ, like, don't, you know, I want to see Mr. Dark. I want to see Mr. Hell. And I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, just know that I am fighting to get my hands on those props as soon as I possibly can. And that I have tons planned for you guys. But currently it's a struggle as I know it is for everybody. So just hang in there. Um, I'm in this together with you guys. Now, the Home Depot box here. Um, like I said, I ordered it online only two days ago, so their shipping is going great. So no worries with Home Depot. If you want to order this, you can get it to your door in two days. Um, but this this box obviously is just kind of like plain, and I think that was because I ordered it um, online. I saw someone comment on my Instagram, I believe, that if you order online, you don't get the, the designs on the box. So shout out to whoever said that but it seems to be true now this is very much like a spirit halloween prop in fact it's basically the same thing because i think they're probably manufactured by the same company um so i think it's you know i don't know if it's seasonal visions don't quote me but it, it has that same type of clown design here and this is the three-faced jester as you guys would see in the title but here's an angle inside the box hopefully the camera's focused this is a three-faced jester and he really is the reason i'm starting with him is simply because i think he's one of the coolest looking ones he might not be my favorite i think i'm liking the inferno scarecrow who's coming soon so stay tuned um but he's definitely like appearance wise that's kind of why i wanted to start with him first he's quite the eye catcher and he certainly looks like something that you would catch in spirit halloween i'm sure spirit halloween might have fought to get this prop but home depot is is on the come up guys home depot is not to be not to be ignored this year okay this is awesome i'm just so excited to finally have a prop on the channel um okay take a look at this huge jester head let's see i'm gonna open this thing up and i've i've seen this animation a little bit on home depot's website and it's actually pretty cool. He puts a mask up into his face. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to buy this guy or in the top of the comments. Oh, and he's got little bells on there too. Or not bells, but he's got some skulls hanging down right here. Let's get a good focus on that menacing face. Take a look at this. He's got mouth movement, light up eyes. I believe they just light up white. It's quite the quite the design and this is a very unique type of clown hat here we've never really seen a jester hat at least at spirit halloween before don't quote me on that about home depot i'm not quite as quite as accustomed to home depot um as this is the first time i am unboxing a home depot pop on the channel um also i'm sure you guys have seen 
that I'm wearing the pumpkin logo. So be sure to check that out, link down in the description. There's also just like a bar right underneath of the video that YouTube automatically puts that will display some of my top merch. So if you guys wanna get some merch, support the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. Here's our clothing piece. We've got this, this bell design, or not bells, they're little um, red plastic balls are all over the clothes. I didn't realize that in the pictures. They're pretty cool looking. Here's his jester outfit. Um, that's the shirt right here. Hopefully the camera angle is good. And this is the pants. Okay, so pretty, pretty simple there. Um, I think we're gonna have to kind of do a little bit of a, a slide maneuver for this part right here. So let me adjust the camera angle for y'all. All right, so we gotta slide all this out. This is a pretty large box because this guy is a full six foot character. So I think we're in for quite the build. All right, let's see what's going on here. So this is kind of a bunch of mechanism stuff. Well, of course we've got foam. Here's something interesting to look at. We've got a hand. He's like pointing, pointing at you. Um, this is the instructions right here. They have partnered with Built. Not sure exactly what that is. Um, let's see. This, I don't think there's any there twist ties going on here. That might be, no, it's just sitting there. All right, we've got a metal piece. We've got, what is this? Is this, oh, is this shoes? This is his shoes, I think, are actually a fabric material rather than a plastic. Oh, I love that. These are cool looking. Take a look at these. Those are the shoes. I'm not really sure how they're gonna attach on. Okay, there's a hole, there's a hole at the bottom here. So that's, that's interesting. I've never seen a, a shoe that is uh, made of that material. Now this is a very typical looking center frame here. You know, it's what we usually see. Seems to be made by the same company as all our other clowns. So I shouldn't be super confused with this setup. We've got the foam pieces. Always remember that your foam pieces are actually going to be used. Um, yeah, see, don't remove this foam. It is part of the figure. That is true. And his other hand is also very similar. They both are kind of pointing like this. So those are the two hands. And they actually have some really awesome detailing going on there. I actually kind of love that. And um, I think that's pretty much all that we have here. Now here are, of course, the three masks. And this is so actually interesting because you can interchange which of the masks he's holding and which of them will be on his legs. So this is a really unique, awesome prop. Um, and it's just, it's got a really cool animation. You guys will see soon, once I finish setting it up, we can be angry, we can be happy, or we can be sad. So I guess this isn't really angry. It's just kind of chilling. But there's the masks. Um, definitely a cool idea. I love that theme of this guy. Here's a look at the instructions for those of you that are interested. Very nice in color instructions. Um, so we'll get started. So the base actually sits down in this orientation, which is a little bit different, but it's kind of cool because he'll end up crossing his legs, which is unique. And so you gotta make sure you got the right poles here, but B goes in the back and then the other pole, which I think is C, will go in the front. And then we should be having the legs in the right place, all right? So now we wanna throw the shoes on and they actually are different uh, based on where the hole is. So you want E to go on to C. At least that is what I'm seeing here. And so there is a hole for it to go through. Has a nice little skull at the end there. 
and then this shoe, see the hole is in a different spot. So you actually gotta pay attention to details on this one. And I think you kinda want his shoes to be looking like they're crisscrossed like this. We'll see how it ends up in the end. Now we're gonna throw on the foam shaping pieces here in a second, but before we get to that, it does have this little added step of lifting up this little metal piece and attaching it into here. Now, I don't know if this is for support or what, but it seems like it's for support. So that goes in right there. The two foam shaping pieces that are gonna go over the legs and it kinda has to bend a little bit there. That's totally fine. And let's get this one. I like that they've got the added, added reminder to keep the foam because it is part of the figure. We are ready now to slide the pants on over. I'm gonna grab those. And so, um, I don't know that there is necessarily a front or a back. I'm gonna assume the side with the sticker is the front. Sure we can fluff this up a little bit. Now we can go ahead and get our whole entire torso and control box on top here. You can't really mess it up because the holes are on a certain side. This is always kind of the trickiest part of the clowns. It's always a little twisted up, not a perfect design, but that's all right. All right, that was actually relatively easy. Now I think we can go ahead and take these, this uh, waistband and pull it up around the waist. Okay. Just like that. And they want you to go ahead and plug in the adapter, which is definitely a good idea. And plug this into the back. Let's see. Got the adapter plug right on the back. All right, so now with that done, we can go ahead and take our outfit here and just slide that over. Um, let's see, so this is the underside. It's got black on the inside, red on the outside. And let's go ahead and try to get this over here. It's kind of a small opening and get that down just like that. Okay, just rest it up like this. All right, so he's really coming together at this point with the clothes on. Now we've got our arms to get in. So you wanna make sure you got him on the right side. J is his right arm, as far as I can tell. Let's hope we're right here. And we're gonna go ahead and run that up the sleeve. And just FYI, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, I put the IR sensor. Uh, it just had a Velcro square, like we've seen many, many times. And this is quite the tight sleeve here. And now, See, the fork is here. Okay. There's that one. I think his arms are just really poofy. Seems to be a lot of extra fabric. Oh, this arm faces this way because I think this is the one that holds the mask. So I'm putting the two hands on and they are very much particular as to which one goes where. So this one is K and it is going to be the right arm here because it does not hold the mask. So it doesn't have any sort of connector piece. So K attaches to J and I guess it's facing upward like this. We can go ahead and pull the um, sleeve up and attach the Velcro strip at the end so that it lays in the right spot. And yeah, I guess the arms are just kind of meant to be a little bit poofy here. We want to kind of make sure that everything looks good, that this is the corner piece. Stick that in. Okay. And here we go. So the most exciting part of every setup is of course, putting the head on. Here is the head, just a quick little focus in on all the detailing. 
the new camera is certainly giving us some great, great shots here. And you can see that fork right there where we are going to slap this guy's head in. Make sure the wires go down under his clothes because we'll have to hook those up. And there you go. He's coming together. Take a look at that. Spooky. Now I'm jumping ahead in the steps here a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the mask on just because we have this angle here. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose this mask simply because it's the one that's used in you know his, his official pictures and demos. And I wanna you know do a demo for him as well, so I kind of thought it was the coolest looking mask. But we've gotta somehow get it into this little hook here. Um, let's see, just like that. And he's in the face covering position right now. So that is what he looks like. So we've got him flipped around now because we have to go ahead and put this little metal piece in his back to make sure he has some shape. I was wondering where this was going to be used. And we got to unvelcro it here. Also, we got to do these wires. So let's go ahead and do those first before the metal piece is in our way. Um, we've got a red wire coming from the head as well as a little wire like this with these little snap snap lock ones and of course the IR sensor which you want to have already done. I don't believe there are any other wires coming from the head and now we can go ahead and put our metal back spine in like this and perfect. So now he's got that crooked back and do the Velcro up around it. So the last step puts these extra masks to use. I'm looking at the instructions over and over and I can't really understand exactly what you're supposed to do here, but I think you just take this, this uh, piece of fabric and tie it up here. It's not very descriptive, but I think you could kind of do whatever you want. Like you could probably even tie them around the leg but that might affect some of the shaping. So I'm just gonna do them like this. There's a weird Velcro strip here that I don't even know what for. Alrighty guys, we have finished setting up this evil jester and I've got him on sensor mode. I've got his volume turned up all the way and the adapter is in the control box. So let's go ahead and plug him in. Here we go guys, my first Home Depot animatronic. Let's check it out. Uh-oh, I'm a little scared. Whoa. We are going to have so much fun be fun playing evil characters, and we've only begun. I have so many to choose over a ton, but having trouble deciding which one. Every mask is horrific, even worse than the last. The performance top-notch and never outclassed. I'll strip away your courage until you have none and soak up your terror when I am done. Consider yourself warned from my merciful pun that if you value your life, don't walk away, run! <laughs> wow. Okay, that was quite the long activation. I don't know if he has multiple phrases. We'll have seen in the demo by now, but... Guys, this guy is so freaking cool. I mean, I might adjust this mask up a little bit more so that it kind of really covers his face for the demo, but you guys will have seen that already. So I hope you did enjoy the unboxing and setup of this jester. I forget exactly what his name is, but it'll be in the title. Um, he definitely has a really cool audio um, that fits his, you know, humorous jester uh, outfit. And... You guys can see a review of this guy and see what I think of him on a rating from uh, one to five stars. That will actually be over on Patreon exclusively, which you can get the link to in the description of this video. Don't forget to check out my music as well. Stay tuned for more Home Depot props. I've got tons on the way. And of course, the Spirit Halloween props as soon as stores finally open. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.